morning everybody excited it's wednesday right wednesday wednesday exciting so i gotta take a roll tight trailer up to our burger again today that's two hours north of winnipeg in manitoba if you're new here i'm from southeast manitoba that's a province in canada we're just north of western minnesota in the usa and eastern north dakota straight up there in the Pemina Valley area there, so give an idea of the region that we're working in. So I gotta take a roll type. That's one of these trailers here. I gotta make sure it's empty though, cause it's kind of pointless taking up a loaded trailer there. Cause I wanna load stuff up there. And if there's already stuff in the trailer, it's very hard to put more stuff on top. They don't like doing that. It messes with everything. So I'm gonna go in here and make sure this is empty. This is trailer 603. Let's see if I can get this thing open with one hand. You guys might need to help me. Okay, pull. Pull. Okay, here we go. Oh, that looks empty to me. We got ourselves a winner. We're taking 603 with us up to Arbor. Good times, good times. Trucking's always a good time. I'm excited. Wednesday trucking. Wednesday. I don't know why I'm so excited for Wednesday today, but hey, maybe because after today's Thursday and that's the day before my favorite day of the week. I mean, aside from the weekend, it can't really compete with Saturday and Sunday, but the first five days after the weekend are always the worst. And after today, we're on our way down back towards the weekend. But in the meantime, while we're waiting for the for the weekend to roll around we get to do some trucking so how cool is that that's fun at least we get to spend our time doing something cool during the week looks like it's going to be another beautiful day you got the sun coming up there in the east again well technically it's not coming up we're going around so i guess the earth is still spinning it's a good sign It'd definitely not be a good day if the earth wasn't still spinning Your soul is lonely, sad, and blue. Ain't got no loving shoulders to lean on. There's always a sunny side across the river. Take a ride, take a swim, and all your worries go away. Go across the river, and you'll be fine. Go counting winners, it's right down the line. You'll be alright, sunny side. See what we've got so far, show. I forgot my hat today. I feel naked. Am I really a trucker without my trucker hat? So this stuff is going to California. They're just on break right now, so they'll be back right away. I think there's a little bit more. I think it's probably about another 20 feet or so. That'll bring us right about up to where this roll tight is. I just gave this roll tight the old bull snot treatment. You can see. So she's nice and greased up. Should be rolling smooth. I don't know who the lucky driver is that gets to take this all the way down, but I'll tell you what, I'd love to go to California. Wouldn't mind that at all. I've never driven a commercial truck into California. Just my personal pickup truck. One day. One day when they're not so busy around here, because I'm busy right now. I don't. I, they can't afford to send me out. But one is a little bit slower, maybe in a slower season, and they have a, the odd trip headed out. I might take one once in a while, just you know, head out to California or Las Vegas or, or Arizona or somewhere in the Southwest, because I haven't been down there in a truck, like in a commercial truck before. Well, not since I was a kid and I rode along with my dad hauling uh, you know, produce out of California. But that was a long time ago. I'd love to go and see it again. So they know, they know once it slows down a little bit, um, they'll come and ask me if, I'm, if I wanna stretch my legs a little bit and go a little further. And even if it's just down to Iowa and back or 
you know, BC and back, Alberta, Mac, Toronto and back. Once in a while, just to keep me busy while it's slower here, but I don't know if it's gonna slow down. It just seems to keep getting busier and busier, which is why we need new drivers. And if you guys are looking for work, if you guys want work, let me know. We have positions available. Company drivers, definitely looking for owner operators, always looking for owner operators. Van division, deck division. I still think we have that, uh, the other city truck 2025 available for someone to work doing pretty much exactly the same thing that I'm doing all the time, just city work home every night. Still have the truck available, but you'll have to talk to Max in recruitment and uh, ask him what we actually need right now. I don't, I don't know what our immediate needs are, but I do know that we're always looking for new drivers, especially owner operators. So happy fall, everybody. Fall is officially here. Or for those of you in other parts of the world who call it autumn, autumn is here. It's fall because the leaves fall down. Happy fall. I don't know if you've been noticing in my videos or not, but the uh, the trees are starting to change color. Look at these off on the right coming up here. Got some bright yellows coming out. We don't get the big vibrant colors that Eastern Canada gets. We mostly get yellows and oranges and browns. Yeah, the leaves are definitely starting to fall down. And that's why we call this season fall. Kind of sad, but you know what? All good things must come to an end. The summer was really great. We're going to get through winter. Christmas is coming, so that's exciting. And then we'll just sort of shut off our brains for three months, and then we'll... You know, turn it back on in spring and it'll all be good. We'll just act like winter doesn't even exist. That's the way you get through it in Manitoba. Just convince yourself you're on a beach somewhere under a palm tree. That's why I tattooed them right on my arm. It's easier that way. There is something coming towards me that's very low. That's a house! Just a second, it'll come into view right away. There is a house on the highway. Wow. Anybody order a house from Amazon? Prime delivery on the way. Look at this thing. Oh, there's premium air in there uh, by how it is that's how you tell you can tell it's premium just by how it is man it's a nice day out here I still only got one horn in my truck I hope that they replace it it really bothers me that there's only one I'd like there to be four up there there's supposed to be four so technically I've lost three horns already, but the other two came off before I was here. At least I think they're supposed to be four. Maybe that's on the other units. There's at least supposed to be two up there, but... I have a feeling they're not gonna replace it. But if you're watching, I'd really, I'd really like my horn back, please. It fell off, it needs a new mount, but I'd really like it back if it's possible, please. That one up there is a little bit lonely. We'll see what happens. See what happens. Okay, release the trailer brakes. It passed all my tests, it passed my pre-trip. I'm gonna vouch for this trailer and tell my e-log system here that this trailer is safe and ready for operation on public highways. Now that's the life of a truck driver. They want you to fit in places where you just aren't supposed to fit. And you just gotta make it fit. So when you start trucking and you run into a situation like that, 
just be aware that that's perfectly normal. It doesn't make sense, but you just got to fit where you just aren't supposed to fit. All right, so I'm all loaded up, closed up, buttoned up, sealed up. Let's see if it's just as tight getting out of here. I'm hoping that some of those people will have moved. They shouldn't have all been parked in the driveway before, but I made it work, like I said. Tell me I can't fit, I'll show you I can. Yeah, they all moved now, good. Shoot, I was kind of hoping to be able to have a tight fit on the way out too for the vlog. Should have been vlogging on the way in, that would have been great content. in St. Boniface in Winnipeg. It's the French Quarter of Winnipeg. The French Quarter where everyone speaks English. So I'm gonna go this way. This van has its tailgate hanging out into the driveway where I need to be, but it's still, before there was two vans parked here, a car parked there, and just barely enough for me to drag myself around here. This isn't bad at all. just city life you know city life it's never enough room for anything I'm gonna have to be careful for that truck there I don't want to drag myself over that truck it's this SUV here and then I'm gonna go okay and I don't want the tail of my trailer to swing out and hit that guy's van either uh, careful of that We go. Success. We got in and out without hitting anything. That's always the goal of every day. At least one of my goals. Don't hit anything. Except the dock. You can hit the dock, but hit it. Don't hit it. Tap it. Just lightly bump it. You don't wanna you don't wanna hit the dock. Boy, this uh, this intersection is pretty interesting now. Hopefully there's no other big trucks that need to make a right turn here. So I won't be able to back up now. There's cars right behind me. And if I don't go forward far enough, the light won't see that I'm here and it may not turn green. I'm not sure how these lights work here. A lot of lights have sensors like that. This is Marion Avenue. This is where it turns into uh, one ways. So the one way going east goes there. We're gonna turn west up there where that truck is at the next lights. If we ever get a green light here. I'm kinda feeling left out. Okay, now I've turned yellow for them. Should be green now. Perfect. Hey man, come on. That wasn't very nice. Oh, shoot. I can't, oh yeah, I can. Oh, I thought that the construction was blocking the road there that I wouldn't be able to make my left turn. We're good, we're all good. Just gotta establish myself in the intersection. Okay, here we go. Drag ourselves on here. Come on. Oh, there's an a and here now. Nice. I used to spend a lot of time in this neighborhood right around here. Would have been nice if there's an A&W when I was around here. Oh, what's going on here? Traffic is backed up all the way to here from Archibald. Wow. Oh, gotta love it. What's the time? Three o'clock? I guess we're starting to get into rush hour. I always liked this neighborhood. It's right along the river here. I believe this is the Seine River coming through here. And 
all of these houses, they're nice. As long as they're maintained, like this one right here, look, it's got a nice straight roof. It's not bowing at all. New shingles, new siding, new windows, nicely refurbished. These are old houses. They were probably built over a hundred years ago or close to a hundred years ago, I should say. Maybe not quite a hundred, but. Yeah, they're small, but they're very much the same size as our house that we live in now. Except we don't have a second floor or a basement. We just have the one floor. We got like 800 and some square feet. Wow, they've been doing a lot of work around here. That house is nice. Look how it's nice in the bush. It's almost like you live in a little mini forest right inside the city and right on the river. That's the river down there or the creek. It's called the Seine River, but that's a pretty nice little piece of property. Man, everything is turning yellow, yeah? Look at that. Along the rivers in Winnipeg, Winnipeg is known as River City. It's got the Assiniboine River that comes and meets up with the Red River. And on the east side of the city here, the southeast has the Seine River going through it. And all along the rivers are uh, mostly parks and trails that you can follow the river. It's pretty cool. It smells like someone's sewer is overflowing or something. It stanks. That time again, people. An average end to an average day. It was good. It's pretty good. It's a good day. Now it's time to go home and have a good evening. I'm looking forward to having a good sleep. I'm getting to that age where I'm like, hey, it's almost bedtime. All right, let's go. First, what's most important, let's turn the air conditioning on. Get a blowing at me. There we go. It's that time of year again where you need the heat on the way to work and the air conditioning on the way home. There's the blue beast. It had to get some work done to it. Looks like she's back. Oh, the skate's open. No, 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 you're not going to close. No, 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 no. I want to go home. That's right. Stay. Oh, and hit that pothole again every time. All right. I gotta go pick up dog food before I go home. Let's not forget, don't let me forget. Gotta get dog food on the way home. Don't forget. We've moved diesel onto this new food. Let's move into the truck here where I can talk to you without the wind destroying my audio. So yeah, uh, the vet says that diesel has a, uh, a small heart murmur. And uh, that could be caused by a grain-free diet, according to the vet. So uh, we have to change foods. Uh, the vet didn't recommend any. We, we picked this one ourselves. It's a good brand. Uh, Performatrin is a really good, reputable brand. And uh, so far, he's been liking it. It took a full month to uh, fully move diesel onto the new food. So today or yesterday was his first day actually fully on this new food. So I had to go get a new bag now because he's a hungry boy. <laughs> How do you like your new food, Diesel? It's very nice. I bet you want some of that food, though, over here. It's not too fatty, actually. I don't even think I need to drain it. That is delicious. Mm -hmm. Meatloaf. 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 Mm -hmm. I love meatloaf. So what are you making for yourself? Huh, you're funny. I'm a funny guy. I mean, sure. Are these potatoes? Tires. Tires. Isn't that amazing how that wooden spoon trick works? If it you don't does. put 
If you don't put the wooden spoon on there, look, see how see if it goes, see how quickly it works. Well, it won't right now. It won't right now? It's been boiling for a while. It's because I'm trying to show them something now, so. Usually, well, if you don't have the, the wooden spoon over here, it like, boils over and bubbles everywhere, makes a big mess, and then I have to spend an hour scrubbing it while she's at work on a Sunday. <laughs> Last time I tried cooking, I didn't, I didn't use the wooden spoon trick. Witchcraft. Yeah. I know, I was all frustrated and everything. is going everywhere, and she comes over here with a wooden spoon, just puts it on there. <laughs> walks away. Fixes everything. Got a plethora of useful and useless knowledge up there. Just start calling you Hermione. Well, then I'm gonna need an accent. <laughs> that was very good. Thanks. Very good accent. Thank you. Nailed it. Nailed it. We've been getting into Harry Potter lately, which reminds me, we like, we haven't had time lately because we've been working so much. We've uh, been trying to have a Harry Potter marathon, but work keeps getting in the way. Yeah, it's been going on for about two weeks, and I think we've only gotten up to what number? I think we're on five. Okay, Cedric died. We're not on five. I think we finished the Half-Blood Prince. We've watched them before, but long time ago, so we're going through it again. Because I'm a wizard. No, that's Diesel. You're Diesel. a wizard, Weasel. It's a wizard, Weasel. Don't tell them the secret.